Hey everybody, it's Greg Yard and welcome back to more Pokemon Generations. In the last episode, we started out our journey and picked Totodile as a starter Pokemon. And in this episode, we are going to go over and see what Silver has gotten himself into. So where is Silver? Is he over Yeah, he's over here. Hey, what's the matter, buddy? Psst. While I got this cop busy, you sneak out. I'll see you around later. Hey! Don't interrupt in a grown up while he's talking. Run along now! Ha! I just got past you. Take that. So, wait, this is a wild Pidgey or something? Oh my god, it is too! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, so every time you interact with a Pokemon. It... Ah, okay. I see. What if I use Rage? Yeah, because that'll just increase. Oh, 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 Pokeball. Oh, damn it. Okay, I gotta hold it. Alright. Uh, Pidgey, why not? You caught a Pidgey. What happened to the victory music? I, th I thought there'd be a victory music. Oh, well. So let's uh, put this Pidgey into the battlefield and let's attack. So, uh, Tototal is maxed out on his attack, and, uh, we'll just go for Scratch, because that should do a lot more damage. Pidgey learns Sand Attack, sweet. Good job. What if we just walk into the wall? Okay, no, you actually have to interact with these. I actually want to interact, but the thing is, I might do some off-screen training, because... Yeah. So is, is this a trainer that I can actually fight? Hello? I've been picking up berries all- Oh, I accidentally missed what she said. I've been picking up these berries all day, but Pokemon keep coming after my orange berries. Just help me, Bunny. If your Pokemon is hurt, just bring them close to me and heal me. You might even break a sweat here. Come back for a harder challenge. So it seems like setting up with uh, Rage is actually a good tactic. So we're maxed out, so let's scratch away. And we'll be good. Oh, crap, we gotta switch to the other side. <laughs> but, oh, he keeps his stuff. Okay, that's good. But, um, yeah, how's everyone doing today? I'm doing quite fine myself. Um, today is actually Valentine's Day. So, um, happy Valentine's Day. Hopefully you guys are spending the day with a special someone and if you're not don't worry there are people who are there are many others in the world who don't have someone to spend their valentines with um so let's just keep taking out these pokemon preventing them from stealing these orange berries and we'll be good to go but it feels so good just listening to this music i mean i haven't played pokemon soul silver in a long time and i need to actually record pokemon soul silver uh but I don't know, it just feels so nice just to listen to this. Because, like, a lot of my... Well, what, like, memories from five years ago start just coming up, and it just feels so good. <laughs> oh, the nostalgic feeling. I can't believe it's, like, already five years ago, though. <laughs> oh, time flies, guys. Time flies. And that's exactly why it took me three years to complete Pokemon Down Defense 1. Um, I will try to, I don't want to rush this game, but I don't want to drag it out like I did with Pokemon Tower Defense 1. But, um, how many waves do we have? Okay, we have one more wave. So, I believe this should be coming on the other side now. We realize, oh, does that mean my rage is gone? Oh, no, my rage is still there. Yeah, okay. So, um, one thing you could exploit with the previous Pokemon Tower Defense is that if there was this, uh... If your stats were altered, or you were poisoned, or had a stat—oh, sorry—had a status condition, you could just click uh, and move your Pokémon, and it would get rid of those uh, debuffs, in uh, increases, um, or status conditions. Whereas this seems to fix that. So, you—it's a good and bad thing. I mean, bad because if you get uh, inflicted with a status condition, or you get any debuffs, you're stuck with them. But at least you keep your buffs. 
So uh, this is good because Pidgey learned Gust, so let's switch over to that. And a Shadow po Pokemon approaches, capture it with any Pokeball. Alrighty then. Uh, oh, okay, wait, the po Shadow Pokemon isn't there yet. Oh, hello! It's a Shadow Pidgey. Um, hello? There we go. You caught a Pidgey. Okay, so we're back. Apparently this game has ads, and um, so I'm going to cut those out every time that... Okay, that's interesting, but I guess it's a way for Sam and Dan to actually earn some 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 sweet moolah. But uh, thanks, you saved my berries. I still need to pick out some more, though. You are most welcome, girl. So, I think we might need to... Uh, I actually kind of want to use the Shadow Pidgey, so... Do 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 So hello policeman. Route 46 is under investigation for shadow Pokemon appearances. Also, if I were you, I would stay away from the deep forest. What deep forest, kid? I'm not about to tell you. All I, s all I can say is that there's shadow Pokemon reside there. Don't look so excited. I've only seen them during the night. Run along now. Okay, he's just saying the same thing. Alright. Do 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 do. Oh, so it seems like there's an item here. What is it? You received a Rosen Sense. You may you also unlocked buying it in the item store on the Perky Center website. So that's cool. Um, I think we might take on another batch of Pidgeys and we'll call it quits there. So let's do that. So um, I'm probably gonna get rid of this Pidgey and use the Shadow Pidgey instead because. You know, well, right, I'm racist like that. Shadow Pokemon are sick, but um, oh, whoa, 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 what? <laughs> what? <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> oh, excuse my coughing, but what the hell? <laughs> just randomly, an Entei level 50 just runs across the screen. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> That is... <laughs> that's messed. <laughs> just out of nowhere, an Entei just runs along the screen. God. Oh, no! Okay, good. <laughs> I completely forgot they can attack my Pokemon. Thank God they restore their uh, HP once they level up, because I do not want this Shadow Pidgey to go out on me. But, um, there we go. Actually, that was kind of short. Let's do another one for the... For the film Oh, it seems like it's just like a 1v1. Alright, Pidgey, do your thing! Uh, come on, take it out. Uh, there you go. Alright, sweet. Uh, I should have probably started my timer. But, um, we're gonna roll with the punches. So, because I forgot to start my timer, we're just gonna keep fighting. Uh, is this another 1v1? Yeah, no, it's not. Okay, good. So, we'll switch over to Rage for Totodile. And, um... Should be good to go. Come on, he just needs to get up to the... 6th Multiplier, and then we go Scratching People. Scratch him in the face! And then... Alright, this is good. Good training, but I do... I'm already liking this game a lot. I mean... Not only did I enjoy the first Pokemon Tower Defense very much, uh, but there was also, uh, in the, when this game was in development, uh, Sam Dan personally said that they would um, make it so you didn't have to grind that much. But it seems like the grinding is quite fun, or, or at least it, it appeals to me more than it did in the previous game. But, um, so while we're talking about that, we might just keep fighting. Um, but yeah, so, I, I haven't checked any of the, um, like, any of the feed or any of the blogs or anything, because I don't want to spoil anything for me, because, as I said, this, I am doing this game blindly, so, um, but one thing I noticed is that not only does the zoom and the speed look pretty sleek, um, apparently there's time, so... Okay, yeah, sweet, you learn, Gus. So, yeah, apparently there is, um, time in this right here, so... I'm not sure if that'll actually affect anything. 
Because it seems it might base it off my computer time. Because right now it's 2 p.m. Uh. Or at least, well, yeah, it's not actually 2 p.m., it's just my computer time is stuffed up. Uh, but there we go. That is our training done. And, um, yeah, I think that's going to be it for this episode. So, next time on Pokemon Tower Defense, uh, we're going to see if we can find the deep forest that that policeman was talking about. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!